the coach at the time of the Charleston Battery was Tim Hankinson. Uh, he, it was, they had their first season and he had been in touch with me when I was at school at Indiana University. He had mentioned about coming to Charleston. Obviously, I was thinking bigger and better, like most players, and uh, didn't know much about Charleston. Uh, I decided to take a shot. You know, Tim kept in touch with me and, you know, really pushed me and, and kept, kept on me to, to possibly come down here. And after, you know, the November season when I got released from indoor, it was, okay, let's take a chance because I still wanted to play. So. Charleston was just starting up. I think it was their first year in 92, and you know it was gonna be their second season. So they flew me down in whew, December, and it was interesting, like a little bit of a recruiting uh, trip. He picked me up in a convertible, 526 bridge just and open, took me to the beach, and six players were staying about two blocks from the beach in a house, and uh, it was pretty tough. After I went for a run about an hour later after the coach dropped me off and uh, doing a few things with some of the players already, it was, uh, place I could tell I wanted to be. I could feel I was comfortable with after being here for about three, four months. And then once this club started playing and the support that the club did receive, you know, even when I was on the field, even down at Stony Field, was tremendous. And, uh, you know, it started being a place that grew into me a little bit. I don't, I would say I would never thought 100% I'd be here 26 years later. Um, because as a player and as, you know, and even in, the, in any sport, you're, you're not sure where you're going to end up. You know, I think I've watched other coaches and you always analyze it, but the competition and, you know, being able to be a part of a team. Every day I love going out to the training ground and training the players and, and trying to teach something or somebody something new. But also the competition to compete and compete for a championship in the Open Cup, in the league. Uh, just it, it, for players to get better and to move on. And you know, that, that drives me every single day. It's driven me as a player, it's driven me as a coach. And of course you have to have that feeling to want to win because that keeps you and pushes you to try to be the best you can. And that's something that I think that was in me when I was a kid and uh, it's still in me now. And uh, I guess when that runs out, you know, we'll see what happens. But uh, right now, every day I love going out, I'm losing my voice. But uh, I'll tell you, it, it's exciting to go out there. And on the sideline, I feel like I'm competing with the players every single day that there's a game and every single day when there's uh, training and uh, try to push them and make them better. And that, that's what I love. And just like a team, if you can keep your best players together, it, it makes it a lot easier. Um, obviously, keeping players is more difficult, but keeping staff is difficult also. You know, the club has been tremendous and the support staff, you know, allowing me to keep Dusty and Bobby, who have been with me for the longest time recently. But even before that, it was a group that we had. Andrew Bell was with me for a long time. And, uh, but Bobby and Dusty are, are tremendous. You know, he was a goalkeeper coach just to start out with. He was a player of mine and he knows me and he knows what makes me tick. I know what makes him tick. He's fantastic for the players. Bobby with MUSC now going on, I think our 10th season uh, is, is a tremendous. He's been fantastic. He's great with the players. He's great with me and you know, that makes a big difference. If you can have that camaraderie off the field with the guys, even on the road and, and to keep that constant a little bit. We've always had other players and a few, you know, interns come in and maybe an assistant coach here with guys have moved on, Troy Lesane, you know, Mark Watson, you know, Ian Fuller, guys that have moved on. But yeah, we've always been able to keep guys that have been here with me, which is tremendous. I haven't had to go out and get four new staff members every season. And I'll tell you what, it makes a big difference. Now you have to, you have to treat every player differently. You have to know what makes them tick. You have to really get involved with them personally because everybody has a strength and a weakness and you have to know that. And then as a team, you have to adjust too. If I go out and we play the same exact way, which sometimes that happened in the past, teams catch you and they beat you. And you know, you have to change. Just like us going from a four to a three and back, you have to evolve and you see, you know, the best teams in the world aren't, you know, even playing. Arsenal sometimes doesn't even play 4-4-2. And, you know, the coaches have to adjust and change, and new coaches. And every day a new coach comes in, brings new methodology, brings new ways of doing things, and keeps you on your toes. And, you know, you got to stay a little young in the game. It makes it exciting. And, and if I don't evolve and change with the players in the game, you know, you know, I might not be sitting here. And uh, it's something that I try to watch for. I like to watch other people and I like to watch other teams and little things, but you always have to be yourself. The biggest memories for me as in my whole career is, is winning championship. When we won in 96, was absolutely fantastic. Um, and just being able to win something, you know, I did it in college for, for the university and coming here and 
you know, we had five, 5,500 for our final down at Stony Field. And it was, it showed that, you know, this town supported us. And it's just a memory that you're gonna remember all the players that I played with and the owners and everybody that was involved. And then as a coach, you have to put together a team. You have to build a team every single season. You have to players move on and leave. So for me, the things that I remember are, are the players and, and the players that come with that. And of course, the end result is the championships. Of course, I remember 2010, 2012, making the Open Cup final. And uh, those are the memories just because they're so big but uh, you know, I'll never forget my first season as a head coach and the pressure and what you feel of how you're able to try to put together a team just gives you that gratitude and that feeling. And then of course, when you have success with that team and with those players and being able to teach them and watching them move on maybe to another level or higher levels or maybe move from playing to a job and being, you know, just in a community then as a, as a person uh, doing so well with a job that maybe they didn't even do when they were on the field, but you know that they're such good people. And that's, to me as a coach, it changed a little bit. You know, I loved winning as a player and that's all I really cared about. But and it, as being a coach, there's so much more that you want to do and still trying to do that for the community and the club. And you don't want to ever forget that because wherever you are as a coach, you obviously want to do well this club. And to be honest, it's really, will it carry on? Is it something that, you know, that I was a part of that in the future will be, you know, there's 10 more coaches and yeah, maybe I was the third or fourth coach. Um, you know, I don't care about records. Um, I do love championships and people remember that. And again, that's what drives me. But I think the biggest thing is, is the success that the club has had when I was here. And as long as we can do well, if that is a championship, but also off the field and within the organization and with the players, you know, because a lot of a lot of people forget that, you know, players move in and out and you've got to keep a constant and you've got to keep it a, a great place to be. And for me, I get a great feeling that I know that every single year we can get a new batch of players and keep some players and they're going to love this town, they're going to love this community and they're going to love the club. And uh, I hope that I've been a part of it. That's the biggest thing for me, which I did. I started as an assistant. I started as a player and I've been everything from the bottom to the top now. And for me, it's just to keep it going. And I hope that there's a hundred more years of Charleston Battery. I hope that there's, you know, more players that play here every single time and the list just gets longer and longer. And I hope players even go on to bigger and better things. And so my legacy is I'm very proud of being part of the Battery. Uh, I feel a big part of it. And uh, I hope to be part of it for, you know, as long as I can.